All right, welcome back to my channel. So glad that you're here. Um, today we are going to take about 30 minutes to walk up one mile and a half. So we're stepping our game up. Um, I'd love to just get right into it. So go ahead and meet me back here and we're gonna go ahead and get started walking. So here we are. If you are new to this, um, let's go ahead. If you have a Apple Watch or some way to record this, it's under Indoor Walk and you can record it. If you don't want to, that's cool. I will take care of it for us. And all you have to do is get moving. So just start marching a little bit. We'll start a little bit slow and then we'll build from there. If you're new to my channel, I just want to welcome you. If you're a returning viewer, I also want to welcome you. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Emily. I'm a yoga instructor, a registered nurse, and a wellness professional. And my goal in creating this channel is to help people just like you feel strong, healthy, and get more fit and confident in their own bodies. So we do this with walking. Walking is one of the most beneficial movement exercises that you could possibly do. Simple and humans were made to move, right? This is in our nature. It's in our DNA to walk just like this. We have four basic steps. The first one we are doing together right now, and it's simply just walking, marching in place. We will move around the room a little bit with this, but for now, just keep it light, gentle, enjoy yourself. All right, let's move on to our next move. I'm just gonna take a side step. So I'm gonna make a little space here and then just step it out and back, out and back, yeah. And keep it kind of light. You can stay upright. As we warm up, I will invite you to kind of sink back a little bit lower to engage more muscle. But for now, for now stay up with me. And let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go back to walking. So always returning to this gentle walk here. You can use this workout for a lot of different things. So if 30 minutes of walking is right on point for you, way to go. Like this is where you need to be. If you're like me, I need a little bit more, a little bit more oomph. So I'm using this as my like kind of pre-workout to a run I plan to do immediately after this. So I'm training for a 5K right now. And um, yeah, I'm, I use this to prepare myself for a more physical workout. So wherever you've landed, for whatever reason you've shown up today, I applaud you, you inspire me, and I am so happy you're here. Okay, keep walking. Our next move is coming right up right now. We're gonna take high knees. So I'm gonna just turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take a knee up and knee up, yeah. Yeah, so get that rhythm. It's like a march, a high march in place here. So once you find your rhythm pattern, you can stay right here. Maybe you touch opposite hand to opposite knee. So engaging that left and right hemispheres of the brain. We're not moving or we're not learning like dance moves or anything like that. Um, that's not really the goal of this. It's more just staying active, staying healthy and staying moving. So keeping moving. If at any point you're like, whoa, this is a little bit too much, just return to that walk. In fact, here we are for five, four, three, two, and one. Return to walk right now. Yeah, walk it out. All right, so we're warming the body up. If it feels right, if it feels like that time, go ahead and start to pick the feet up a little bit more. Pump the arms, get that energy going. Blow the air out. Okay, so deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Nourish your body with healthy, energized oxygenation. <laughs> what we're meant to do, right? This is our aerobic activity. So it's what the American Heart Association stresses. They say, um, they recommend 150 minutes of aerobic. So moderate to intense activity like you're doing right now. And it can absolutely be broken up. So one suggestion would be 30 minutes of walking every day or five days a week. 
All right, so enough of that chatter. Let's go ahead and we're gonna take on that last exercise. So last movement, these are kicks. So I'm just gonna have you kick and kick, kick and kick. Yeah, maybe bring those arms in. So we're not just using the lower body. Let's start to activate through the upper body. We're gonna get into that a little bit more as we move here. Keep moving. Whew. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go back to walking right here. Walk it out. Check on your breathing. Where are you here? Did you bump up the pace a little bit? I sure hope so. But if not, that's totally fine. Go at a place that's comfortable. You know, we're all at different stages in our wellness journey. And this is, for me, one of the most fun things that I do as an exercise routine. I've been walking, like in-home walking for, I would say about 15 years. <laughs> so it's it's so nice. I'm gonna take these side steps while, we're, while I'm talking at you. So we're gonna take it out and back. There we go. Yeah, get those legs moving. Maybe lower it down a little bit. Like you're a catcher. Sinking the hips low. Activating those muscles of independence. So the hips, the thighs, the back end. We wanna get those muscles nice and strong so that we can stay independent for as long as possible. All right? Nice, keep going. Whew. Might feel nice to give a little woo. <laughs> a little woo here and there. I know it helps me out a bit. All right, here we are. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go back to walking. Always returning to this walk. Whew. So about 15 years ago, I know I was still in high school. Um, my mom and I started a walking program. It was just something we did in the winter we liked it you know we did these 15 20 30 minute walks and then eventually build up to like an hour long and we had so much fun just being together working out getting real sweaty and feeling really healthy and strong together so that's why I encourage you to join us you know, there's a big community of us taking these walks together and it's so cool to have you here all right let's take those kicks next let's kick it out great job High feet, you know, you can kick it high like I do, reaching opposite hand towards opposite foot, or you can keep it kind of low, you know, kind of getting that swing of things. And then when you're ready, bring that energy. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Charlie is here. He is like right in front of me. You probably can't see him. Maybe he'll make it a little cameo here shortly. Here we are. Five, four, three, two, and one, walk it out. So Charlie is my black lab. He is a um, mixed breed that we got from the shelter and we love him so much. He's our, he's our fur baby. <laughs> All right, take those high knees. And he comes to every workout I do at home. Opposite hand to opposite knee. Whew. Yeah, getting into that meat of this exercise, the meat good stuff of this uh, workout program. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. All right, let's get the arms involved. So we're gonna take the arms up and out to the side. Up and out. Up and out. Reach and reach. Yeah, keep it going. Your pace, not mine, okay? So always take this at your own range of motion. If your arms don't like to reach high, just keep it right here. Just keep the arms right here. And if you're like, oh, this is a lot of stuff at one time, you can just go back to that walking with the natural arm swing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Return to your walk, natural arms. Nice, blow it out. Take a feet wide, take a wide stance here. And just keep that rhythm. March, march, march. Yeah. And then we're gonna take kick back. So we're gonna kick the foot towards the bum. So bear with me, get that rhythm, get your momentum. And then here we are, kick it back and back. See if you wanna sink a little bit lower. Activate more muscles there. I love this one. If you wanna take opposite hand to opposite knee, you can 
Maybe that's a little bit too much. It's a bit too much for me right now. Let's just stay right here. Taking the foot back. Yeah, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can kind of see. Yeah, there we go. Here we are, five, four, three, two, and one. Return to your walk. So those were single kickbacks. We're gonna do double kickbacks here in just a second. Keep moving. Yeah, get those knees up a little bit higher. Can you do it? I know you can. You got this. Nice. Keep going. Warm up the body. Get that sweat, that healthy, beautiful sweat going. I love it. Love it. All right, take that wide stance one more time here. Get your legs moving. Feet up. And then double kickbacks. So find a rhythm that serves you. And when you're ready, kick it back. Two, kick, and two. One, two, one, two. Yeah, all right. <laughs> kind of skipped that one. All right, coordination was not ever my uh, best forte. And if you're not super coordinated, totally fine. Just keep it moving, right? Keep it light, have fun. This is meant to be so much fun. Don't think we get enough fun sometimes in our lives. So this working out together, sweating, getting healthy, this is meant to be fun and strong. All right, one, two, last one, and two. Nice, go back to your walk. Wow, I feel that. Really warm in that area up back there. All right, let's go up to these high knees. <gasps> Blow that air out, let something go. Here we are, let's get our high knees going. Knee up and knee up. You're feeling strong, come with me and take the high knees. Take a little test for me, okay? See if you can say a couple word sentences, maybe five to six words. Maybe you say to yourself, I am strong and I am happy. And see if you get really winded, okay? If you cannot stay, a five to six word sentence without um, feeling really exhausted or not being able to say the whole thing, feeling really windy, you might be going a little bit too hard. So keep that in mind. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. <sighs> nice. So just calibrate yourself, right? We don't have to go hard all the time, right? So take this workout to your degree. How does this best serve you? We're gonna take up and back. So use the space you have. We're just gonna, gonna go for a walk here, yeah. So if you wanna go a little bit faster as you go back and forth. I hope you're smiling. I sure am. I can't help but smile sometimes when I work out like this, especially cardio. It just makes me happy to get these hormones, these, I call them healthy, happy hormones. You know, your endorphins are boosted, your lungs, your heart, your brain is working. Every bit of your body is working and you can't do this workout wrong. As long as you're moving, you're doing it right. All right, one more time up, blow it out. And then one more time back, go back to your walk. We're gonna take those kicks. All right, we're getting kind of intense here and, um, we're coming up on a mile. We're about halfway through. Blow your air out. Keep it rocking and rolling here. Kick and kick, kick and kick. See if you want to get the feet a little bit higher. Can you do it? Nice. Challenge yourself. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. You got this. Yeah, it's all about challenge, right? When we challenge ourselves, we evolve, we grow, we change something. People are so afraid of change, but why, why are we afraid of it? It means something is oftentimes becoming much more better. And it's scary, the unknown is a bit scary, of course. But maybe embrace this change, this change in your body you might be feeling. Let's take those wide knees again. You ready for these kickbacks? Let's do single leg kickbacks, here we go. Get it going. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a double leg. All right, single legs. <laughs> like I said, coordination, um, sometimes not my strongest point. <laughs> right. Here we are. 
We're going eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go back to walking just for a second here. That air out. Deep inhales and exhales. Your heart's pumping, your lungs are working. Your brain is going. Healthy hormones, you know, everything's activated here. Muscles, your core just naturally engages, especially when we lift the legs. Take the wide feet again, nice. And then here we are, we're gonna take those single leg kickbacks. So whether it be single or double, I'm encouraging you to take the single legs with me. Here we go, kick it back and back and back and back, yeah. Whew. Nice, keep it going. Feel strong in your body. Feel confident, in control of your situation. Right? You have the ability to shut this video off at any time. But if you keep going, I applaud you. Yeah, we were made to do hard things. All right, here we are. Two, three, four, five. All right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go back to walking. Here's my puppy, Charlie. <sighs> Who's working out with you today? You know, is it your mom? Maybe your grandma? Maybe your dog, Charlie? <laughs> Maybe you got a goldfish or somebody. Kids, a spouse, anybody. Maybe leave me a little comment in the notes below. And let me know who you're working out with today. Who's your workout buddy and how you're feeling. Get those arms moving again. Arms up and out to the side up and out to the side. Yeah, keep it going. So one way you can really help my channel, and it's totally free, you might like. So hit the like button, the thumbs up, and even subscribe. I'm putting out new videos each week, usually on Sunday. And um, yeah, I, it's, it's just really helpful for other people just like you to find my channel. Here we are, five, four, three, two, one, walk it out. Let's go. Walk it out. Whew. Yeah, and when people find my channel, that lets me know like what people are interested in. And I love to share my interests with others. So I love this walking and I love teaching yoga. Let's go up and back. Here we go. Wanna speed it up? Maybe a little boosted walk? Maybe you wanna try to get the knees up a little higher. See if you wanna go a bit faster with me. This is like a little jog. Okay, like a, little, a bigger challenge. This is gonna really get us nice and strong. Get that heart rate up. Yeah. Where are we? Oh, we hit a mile, go! Go us, you're killing this workout. Charlie's proud of us, whoopsie, whoopsie buddy. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and stop here and we're just gonna go ahead and keep walking. So stop that boosted walk. <laughs> Might get back into that. Let's get our legs kicked. Ready to kick? Here we go. Keep breathing. Reach opposite hand to opposite foot. Yeah. Blow it out. Let it go. So as a nurse, I, I served as a ER nurse for the last seven years of my career. And I've had the great privilege of meeting some of the most incredible human beings. Five, four, three, two, one, walk it out, yes. So people from all walks of life, you know, in the ER I meet babies, you know, I've even helped deliver babies. I've met people that are over 100 years old. And periodically I meet a patient who changes my entire outlook on life. And I am inspired by you know, they come across some really hard challenges and they climb above the mountain, right? They get to the, the peak and when they get up there, it's amazing, right? And then they inspire me so much, just like you do. Let's keep moving. Let's take those high knees again. And one of the biggest things that I've found is keeping active, especially as we grow older. That is really sometimes quite a challenge for us. But when you stay active, healthy, and strong, you feel that, right? You feel strong. You age well. I've, I've had patients, you know, in their 90s 
that are much more healthy and physically strong than people that are in their 30s and 40s. And that's no lie. I mean, I saw it every day. Here we are, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and walk it out. Blow that air out. Check in with yourself. Maybe say a little sentence here. Maybe you say something like, good vibes only. That's right. Good vibes only. Love it. Take those feet nice and long. Here we are. Yeah. You ready for something different? So we're going to take the knees up. So it's kind of like our, our high knees, but we're going to take the knees up here. So tap opposite hand to opposite knee. Yeah. Little variation. As always, this is not learning dance moves. Right, and if this is a little bit too much, go back to that walk. You're walking, you're doing it right. Always grab a sip of water if you need it. Here we are, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. The beauty of this program, so an in-home walking program, you really don't need anything. The one thing I ask that you have is water. <laughs> something to hydrate yourself. So important to nourish your body, especially after this workout. I want you to drink, you know, quite a bit of water. We often are more dehydrated than actually hydrated. So please drink some water to rehydrate yourself because I know you're sweating just like me. Let's take those kicks. Here we are. Kick it out. Yeah, we are coming up on our mile and a half. So just a little bit longer, and then we're gonna take a stretch after that. Deep move. I am so proud of you. You're kicking some butt today, I know you are. You're gonna make it all the way to the end of this walking program. This walking video. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. Let's get those arms moving. Go ahead and just make some circles with the arms, big or small. Feel it out. I call these swimmers. So if you're a swimmer, bring those arms. If you're not, that's cool too. <sighs> Reverse, either direction, fly. Open through that back body, the shoulders, the chest, the core. Okay, let's talk about the core for a second. Go ahead, two more circles, right? Go ahead and release those arms down. So when we move like this, there's a natural engagement of the 360 core. So that's not just the front core. It wraps all the way from the back, so the spine, and then it wraps around here. It's called our transverse abdominis. It's like a corset, okay? It's important to hold, it's important to strengthen that deep muscle, the TA muscle. Go ahead, and we're gonna take these high knees, I'm gonna kind of show you. So when you take the high knees, there's a natural engagement of the core, especially here. So that's great, not only for your abdomen, but also for your back. You know, walking is one of the best things you can do when you have um, trouble with your back. So a weak back leads to injury. It leads to pain. When you walk and you're healthy and strong, you know, you can avoid these things as you age. Here we are, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. Little disclaimer though, I want you to know if you are experiencing pain before, after, or even during this workout, please, please check with your doctor and make sure this activity is healthy and safe for you. Okay. While I might be a medical professional, I'm not your medical professional, so always check with your doctor before working out. <gasps> Blow that air out. Oh my gosh, so proud of you. We are so close. <sighs> Keep going. Where are we on time? Yeah, we're about 23 minutes in, so very nice. All right, let's take those kicks. I'm just gonna kick it out. Go, go, go. Feel, find that energy, find that strength. You know, we are so close to the end. I want you to finish strong. Oh, yeah. Here we are, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow, walk it out, let's go. We are so close, guys. Get those arms pumping. Get those legs lifted. Go faster. Go stronger. I know you can do it. Challenge yourself. We're not meant to be stagnant. We're meant to move. Yeah, get 
get your momentum and rock it out. Oh, we did it. <laughs> All right, keep walking. Let's go. Nice job. We just hit one mile and a half. You killed it. Awesome job. Start to slow those feet down a little bit. Start to blow that air out. See if you can make your exhales a little bit longer than your inhales. Nice, nice. Slow it down. Nice. Take the feet wide here. Little steps, little movement here. So good, so good to nourish your body like this. I'm so proud of you. Take the feet back together. How about a little toe tap? A little toe tap. So we're just tapping the toe out and back. Nice. And then go back to that gentle, gentle walk. Just a tap out to the side and back. Let that heart rate come down a little bit. Let your breathing settle back to normal. You killed this workout. I am so proud of you. Very nice job. I never want you to end a workout um, without stretching. Um, unfortunately, I don't have time to give you a good stretch, but I would love for you to check on one of my yoga videos. I have a five minute yoga video. I'll try to link here and um, I would love for you to check it out. Something to help relax you and uh, cool you down, okay? I'm gonna come up here and talk to you just for a second. I am so proud of you. Gosh, I hope you're sweating just like me. You know, Charlie, he didn't have to lift a finger, did he? <laughs> so I thank you so much for being here. This has been awesome. I, it's a great warm up. It's a great program to do any time of day. You know, great to do in the morning or in the evening as you wind down. Um, I encourage you to share this with your friends if you'd like, or maybe invite them to walk with you. I'd love to have you along for a walk. Um, check on my other videos. I do have a couple other walking videos and then several yoga videos that you might enjoy, um, especially for your cool down stretch. In the meantime, please consider subscribing and liking my channel and I will see you again next week. Thank you so much for taking a walk with me. See you soon. Whew.